Good morning. Bitcoin has broken the trend and is holding steady at $69,000 after a quick flash crash, a quick trip down to 67 k after a hotter than expected CPI. We are actually moving up again. Bitcoin is an unstoppable train. Hong Kong, they're fast tracking the spot Bitcoin ETFs as soon as next week as Wall Street had a day with negative outflows into Bitcoin. Elizabeth Warren, Senator Elizabeth Warren, is back. This is the news with the fast facts. Ash Crypto. If you missed it, you would have missed it because Bitcoin's sitting at a healthy 69,667. But Ash Crypto, why is Bitcoin dumping? Higher CPI data. The US CPI data came in higher than expected. The expectation was for 3.4%, but the data came in at 3.5%. A higher than CPI means the Fed can continue its hawkish stance. Rate cuts postponed. So the market, they're expecting a rate cut in June, but after today's CPI data, the probability of that happening has gone down. Doesn't mean it's gone away. Now the Fed swaps its pricing and 50 basis point rate cuts rather than 75 basis points. And that too will happen after June. These are the major reasons behind Bitcoin's recent dump. But wait, we'll check out the chart. If you liked my analysis hit like and repost well the thing with that is you just need to zoom out and chill when i started looking the bitcoin price was at sixty nine thousand three hundred and twenty one. look at those numbers lining up there now we're at sixty nine thousand six hundred and twenty one. check out the dip it was going across we came down straight after the numbers were released and we've pumped straight back up unlike gold which has come down and has lost $30 so somebody please check on Peter Shift there but the low in the last 24 hours was 67,568 would have been a nice real quick buy for people it didn't last long though the high 69,802 and we're moving back towards that pretty quickly so when in doubt please just zoom out buy a stack and chill that's all you need to do now We'll dive into the CPI. What Elizabeth Warren is doing is pretty interesting, fighting back uh, with Senator Patrick McHenry. But the US CPI comes in faster than hoped, rising 0.4% March, 3.5% year over year. Stubbornly high inflation has shattered Wall Street's expectations for a long series of rate cuts in 2024. Inflation data once again has disappointed. Somebody needs a box of Kleenex tissues with the CPI. For March rising more than anticipated and casting doubt on the hopes for a federal rate cut at some point this summer. I'd love to let you in on a secret with the CPI. It's wrong and they just make it up. But in saying that, it's the numbers we're given. It's the numbers the market are paying attention to. And Bitcoin, it just does not care. Bitcoin's going up and to the right forever. So just buy, stack, and chill. We've got a beautiful red buy button, 69,691. Look how beautiful those numbers are. Just smash it. Anyway, the CPI for March rose 0.4% versus expectations for 0.3% and Feb's 0.4%. On a year-over-year -year basis, the CPI was up 3.5% instead of 3.4%. The price of Bitcoin fell more than 1% to 68,200 in minutes following the report. The laser-eyed maxis were absolutely stoked for the gift of cheap Satoshis. Everyone else that's just gone into the space that hasn't read the books is crying because they sold their Bitcoin and they're losing. Anyway, a series of Fed members have made clear they're not inclined to begin easing monetary policy until seeing a sustained path. How bearish. It's actually the sensible thing to do, even though they're making the numbers up. Rate cuts, they're still coming. Let's get into it. More than just one monthly report of inflation trending down. Traders, meanwhile, have quickly whittled away their expectations of rate cuts. And prior to this morning's report, had priced in just two or three for the full year, according to the CME Fed Watch tool, with the first move coming in June or July. Following the new inflation data, the tool now shows September as the most likely for an initial rate cut. 
sooner or later it's going to happen they can only put so much pressure they will start money printing september leading into the elections not a bad thing it all works out good for bitcoin the lower it stays down here the better just buy stack and chill get as many satoshis as you possibly can it's it's glorious it's a great gift so thanks very much and well done to anyone that got it at sixty eight thousand dollars now regardless of the noise that's going on everyone the game theory at a nation state level is really heating up hong kong's fast tracking the bitcoin spot etfs to as soon as next week they realize this is a matter of urgency so in about five days time we'll read the article they want to get this through before the halving is this a flight to safety from nation states hong kong who are they a proxy for let us know in the chat and shout out to everyone that is watching live if you can smash the like button hit subscribe if we vibe we'll get into a bit of a banter at the end but hong kong the well, i want to say sec but the securities regulatory commissioner hong kong has the fsc has reportedly expedited the approval process for four spot bitcoin etfs According to local news outlet Tencent News, the first batch of spot Bitcoin ETFs is set to be approved in the region by April 15th. TikTok next block. The world's waking up so quick. This is absolutely incredible. It's nice for you to be able to front run Hong Kong. A proxy to the second largest economy in the world. The report cites multiple sources close to the Hong Kong Securities and Future Commission stating that the Hong Kong regulatory Regulator initially planned to approve only four spot Bitcoin ETFs in the first batch. After the Securities and Futures Commission of Hong Kong green lights the initial set of spot Bitcoin ETFs, Hong Kong Stock Exchange will require approximately two weeks to finalize listing procedures and related arrangements. End of the month. It's live. Going live. If this is true, what happened when Wall Street opened up the ETFs? Hong Kong? being a proxy it'll be incredibly interesting more volatility is coming 10 20 30 thousand dollars to the up into the downside in a day get ready for it enjoy it push the buy button on the red on the green but the upcoming endorsement of the spot bitcoin etfs in hong kong heralds numerous prospects for institutional individual investors as retail investors are granted entry to bitcoin investments by etf purchases the investment landscape stands on the brink of a significant change those last words the investment landscape stands on the brink of a significant shift the whole world stands on the brink of a significant shift be it is truly dying it's not a conspiracy theory it's just continuing to go down in purchasing power they're printing more and more and more of it they're debasing everyone's wealth who is holding it in fear we now have the most pristine asset and people are starting to wake up really quickly it's like the hundred monkey effect when a hundred monkeys get it the rest of the monkeys get it now it's probably going to take more than a hundred monkeys for them to get bitcoin because there's already more than 100 monkeys in Bitcoin. But when we get to saturation level and then it spreads like wildfire, it's absolutely insane. Samson Mao, when he's talking about this Amiga candle, $100,000 in a day, that is how that becomes possible. When people have a flight to safety, like we used to have the old bank runs. Not saying it's going to happen, but it definitely could now on tuesday bitcoin etfs experienced net outflows totaling 18.6 million dollars blackrock 128.7 million fidelity 3 bitwise 3.8 hashtag 0.8 million grayscale had negative 154.9 million it is what it is grayscale they've halved how many bitcoin they are holding They've still got about 300,000 to go, but BlackRock, they're back. They bought 1,870 Bitcoin today, 130 million. People fear, like we're like, even me, didn't want Wall Street, especially BlackRock, to come into the Bitcoin space. They came in regardless. 
And it's been up and to the right ever since. Just buy, 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 buy. They know what to do. They know how to smash that buy button, making the most of this opportunity. And the inflows stop for a little bit and Twitter gets a little bit bearish. It's, I understand it, but it's insanity. It's true insanity. Like the whole point of Bitcoin to win the game is just buy, stack and chill. Like that's it. And then hold it in self-custody. We've got things, this is interesting, um, that's happening. Not so much Bitcoin related, but I still found it interesting. Alex Gladstein, I'm sure the hundreds of millions of people suffering from structural adjustments will find sympathy. The International Monetary Fund, the IMF, is facing pressure to cut billions in fees for large borrowers. Good. I opened the article, it's with Bloomberg, it's behind a paywall. See if we can find a little bit more on it. But they've been price gouging people, countries that are most in need and putting them under so much pressure, despicable acts. I'm glad they're facing a little bit of pressure today. If you're new into Bitcoin and you need help getting your Bitcoin off an exchange, like number one thing in Bitcoin is buy Bitcoin, as much Bitcoin as you can possibly do. Once you have it on the exchange, though, it's not really your Bitcoin until you put it in self-custody. The things like look like USBs or calculators, they're pretty epic, they're pretty easy. But fundamentally, they're a little bit of a shift to become your own bank. It takes maybe 10 to 100 hours of really focused research to get that right and to make sure that you are sleeping right at night. For me... I went through the Bitcoin way. They are today's sponsor. They've got 25 years cybersecurity experience. Instead of reading through, like the, these guys are amazing. Like Safe Dean Amoose recommends them. He's all through the Bitcoin standard. They can help you out with the node, but what they really, really push is air-gapped cold storage. So... Whatever devices it is, a USB, a calculator, whatever hardware device that you ultimately go with, it never touches the internet, never touches the computer, which is the best practice. And then they'll help you set up a node as well. But they made a really cool ad. Tony, we've had them on the show before. I thought you'd like this. And if you aren't sleeping easy at night, reach out to the Bitcoin way today, but I'll pass it over to them. Our process is very thorough and streamlined. We will meet you wherever you are in this journey. If you currently do not have any Bitcoin, we will show you where you can go buy it safely and securely. If you currently do have Bitcoin, we will get started with the self-custody process, which involves setup and configuration of an air-gapped wallet and a Bitcoin node, as well as all elements that support that setup. Once that's taken care of, we have ongoing remote support all year round that you can actively participate in. Our pricing model is also simple and transparent. We don't have any percentage-based fees nor any subscriptions of any kind. You pay for the services that you require and that's it. Our ethos believes that every individual should keep most of their money, especially when it's in Bitcoin. Well, I had Tony on the show before. If you haven't seen that, we went pretty deep into his, his story and we touched on what was happening in Lebanon and some of the crazy shenanigans. Bitcoin really is that flight to quality, but it provides hope in the nihilistic world. Don't stuff up your generational wealth. If you need any help, the first 30 minutes is free. I've put their link below. They're an incredible team. Now, Block height. Let's bring it up on the big board if we can get it to load here. We have block height, 838,600, and it is not that. We have had two more blocks, so let's switch over. How interesting. Either on Edge and Chrome, don't trust, verify. Block height, 838,650 local time, 5.53 a.m., 69,874. Bitcoin could not care for the CPI data. Let's see if we can get that in the background back properly. Sats per USD, still a good deal. What a steal. For every $1, you still get 1,431 Satoshis. The block time, 9 minutes and 36 seconds. 
That's where it was. Yes, say last block reward. The fees made up 0.59 Bitcoin, 8.64% of the reward. 1,350 blocks to go to the next halving. Couple of interesting things here. If this price is right, let's refresh. Clark Moody is even better. 69,940. CPI, what CPI? I was sleeping and I missed it. These little dips that we're getting, don't worry about $2,000 in a day. Wow, big deal. There, there truly is going to be $10,000 days. We had one in Australia like three, four weeks ago. It happens. Get used to it and enjoy it. These little dips, please don't get shaken out. Make the most of these opportunities because Bitcoin's coming back up. Do we make new all-time highs today? We could. Bitcoin does what Bitcoin does. It's about 11 days of the year where Bitcoin really moves. And the rest of the time, it's just TikTok, next block. It's very boring. Bitcoin is a very boring asset and it should be a very boring asset. You buy it, you stack it, you chill with it and it just does its thing goes up and to the right over time forever. Anyway, sats per USD, we went through that, but the market cap, 1.38 trillion, 69.96. We're only down 5.2% for the all-time high, and we are nearly at 10% of gold's market cap at 9.96. There, we will dive into a banter very shortly. Did, did you all see... On what Bitcoin did, Peter McCormack, Danny Knowles, and then the legend, Alex Gladstein. And Peter just let Alex Gladstein just let it out, just absolutely rip. Now, Alex Gladstein works for the Human Rights Foundation and is really doing incredible, impeccable work. You need to watch it. Like, that, that's absolutely incredible. But he had these three takeaways, these three little mantras that you could hold on to that allowed us to be able to push back with the FUD. So the ultimate use case beyond a store of value for Bitcoin. The first mantra was, one, we have financial privilege. That the 7 billion people under dictators or broken money have lit little other options, no other options. Two, Bitcoin is really bad for dictators. Dictators need censorship, confiscation, and closed markets. Bitcoin is free speech, property rights, and open capital markets, and fundamentally opposed to dictatorships. Don't like dictators, look into Bitcoin. And number three, I think this is the most powerful because we're going to get into what Senator Elizabeth Warren is firing back. She likes the energy article. Greenpeace likes the energy attack. But the third mantra not mining Bitcoin waste energy. In eastern South Africa, where they have abundance of hydro and geothermal, funding to build infrastructure for villages relies on a generous benefactor to feel like helping. Bitcoin brings profitability to projects that bring electricity. You can't get in the way. Anyway, people like Senator Elizabeth Warren have a problem with... Bitcoin, at the moment, she's going after stablecoins. Just a little bit of awareness around it. Alexander Grieve, as Congress returns this week and crypto returns to the conversation, Senator Warren is out with a letter to Representative McHenry and Waters throwing cold water on the idea of a stablecoin bill. Efforts to create new regulatory frameworks around the $157 billion stablecoin market, including those that aim to fold stablecoins deeper into the banking sector, could amplify and entrench risks rather than mitigate them. If you dive into it, I'll repost it at Sean Clark 911 It's absolutely incredible. And she's losing, which is nice. Stable coins, I don't think much of them. I understand people will use them. In there, she blames the stable coins for the banking collapse. It's the fault of crypto. And that's the point of bringing this article up because they throw Bitcoin in with crypto. We need to be aware of their attack vectors, which are all nonsense. They're just more marketing for Bitcoin. Like it's fantastic, great. However, the war is not one totally yet we still need to get rid of this mis misinformation people grab hold of the first thing they hear especially when it's negative 
So we really need to change the conversation. But crypto was what led to the banking crisis. It's just an escape goat. They don't like crypto. The banking crisis, the banks are in a crisis, continuing to be. We're going to see more bank failures. Bitcoin's going to keep going up, but they're going to try paint Bitcoin and crypto, understandably crypto as this evil entity that's fighting against the system, which Bitcoin is, yeah. But it's not, crypto is not wrecking the banks. Stable coins are not destroying the banks, causing bank runs. It's the banking system and the Federal Reserve. If we had sound money, it would not be an issue. I'd, uh, I'd check it out. It's, it was pretty good. The, and this was interesting. Then we're going to dive into a banter. I want to show you one more thing. Uh, just a little bit of a meme, though. And this made me think the same thing will happen in a few years when you tell your kids you're older than Bitcoin. I'm really not sure how to feel about this. Just told my kids I'm older than Google. They think I'm joking. If you're born before September 4th, 1998, congratulations, you're older than Google, which is crazy. And thinking, yeah, this came out when I was a kid. Well, the same thing's going to happen with Bitcoin. That got me a little bit of a, a laugh. That's more on the outflows as well. We can skip that. That was the news with the fast facts, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't already, hit subscribe. If we vibe, we are going to jump into a quick little banter. Let us know where you are in the world, but not like what town. Maybe the, the state. Be careful with your operational security. But shout out to everyone that is watching live. Austin, TN Permaculture, Portly, Austin, Jake and Thomas in the house, Portly, to work on the like button team. <laughs> Croc done D. If you haven't seen um what's Dundee's name? Um, the dude with the big knife. Something Dundee in LA. If you don't know what I'm talking about, because I'm lost this morning, I understand. I'll bring it up tomorrow. It's a fantastic, fantastic film. Anyway, VT Gothic, g'day from the Green Mountains, Vermont. Wow, I am jealous. Vermont is one of my favorite places in the world, VT. I'm almost stacked in the red, but it turned green. One of these days, I'll buy the red button. Whether it's red, whether it's green, just smash it. Just enjoy it. Jax, good morning. Buy, stack, and chill. Don't wait for dips. If you're worried about saving a few hundred dollars, you have no idea where this is going. Yeah. And even if you want to get in here for fast money, just think in four-year time frames. And then during that four-year time frame, please just read as many books as possible. And you'll realize Bitcoin is the escape valve. It's something that you hold on to. And when Bitcoin's a million dollars, you won't need to sell it. And maybe that happens sooner rather than later. I wouldn't be fading Bitcoin or just trying to get in and get out. I think that's a, a full move. And anyone that's done that over Bitcoin's history has regretted it. So... I don't know. That's what I keep in mind. Nate. Nate is live with us this morning. Nate, it is so good to have you here. Nate's been trying to catch you live forever. What a day. What a day. Stack the sats or eat the nats. Jax, so people dumping the best hedge against inflation because inflation is high makes total sense. Absolutely. <laughs> it's... That's so funny, isn't it? Like even when we have the, the Fed meetings and we're all listening and watching Jerome Powell, like I've streamed those videos twice, never again. Most boring videos in the world. But like the globe reacts, this one guy making stuff up, like they they say, they're just shoot paraphrasing, but we're, we're just going meeting the meeting. We don't know what's going on. We'll uh, just hope and see and we'll pull this lever and that lever and the whole world's like glued, waiting for them to spout whatever nonsense and then reacts on their nonsense. Like, what simulation? What clown world is it? It's crazy. I'm glad there's Bitcoin, whether it's up, whether it's down, whatever price it is, you just buy a stack and chill. Short term, you may buy high and it may be low for a while. Okay, hold it longer, buy more. Great. Um, good way of thinking, don't buy Bitcoin, sell fiat. It's about the mindset, Andy. 100%. Everybody's getting it. Dracula, hey, I'm, am I the only one that has YouTuber comments on the side instead of below? Did I push the wrong thing or what? 
Interesting. Yeah, I don't know, Dracula. <laughs> nope, also on the side. Maybe um maybe YouTube's updated. Are you on your phone or are you on a computer or a TV? And shout out to everyone that is watching live. If you could smash the like button, it helps get the message out there and sh share the video or maybe one of the podcasts to somebody new. The Peter Dunworth one. That's really incredible. If you haven't seen the Tony one, don't really even talk about the Bitcoin way, but you see where his passion comes from because Bitcoin truly is the li life raft and it has been for so many people. And when they say Bitcoin has no use case, when you hear those stories, Bitcoin is probably the greatest gift to ever face humanity. And you can see where his passion comes from. It's deep. So if you're, you're looking for something deep, and he still talks about a billion dollar Bitcoin as, as well. Maybe check that out, Peter or, or Tony there. TN Permaculture. Bitcoin is the first weapon in history that gets better when your enemy adopts it. Isn't it crazy? Just the incentive mechanism, like the halving coming up, what, nine days away? Wow, on 420. The incentive of greed, as people are greedy and they want to make money, and the money is Bitcoin, they think they want to make fiat. But after a while, they realize, no, hey, actually, we want to make money. So they invest their fiat into Bitcoin mining or they adopt it as a treasury reserve asset. Whatever way they go about it, Bitcoin fundamentally changes them. But by them adopting it, they make Bitcoin stronger and stronger and stronger. Like the way that this thing works so synergistically is absolutely incredible. It's Maybe this is not the right word. But maybe it is a miracle for humanity. It's the right idea at the right time. Like the world truly needs it right now. What, like what hope is there without Bitcoin? There is gold, but we live in a digital age. And the gold people, I think they got it so right until Bitcoin came along. And Bitcoin was just better at being gold than gold has been. And maybe only say in the last five years, even though it's gone up dramatically over the last 15, now that Bitcoin's market cap is getting to a very respectable level. In this day and age, as kids grow up on their phones, on their screens all the time, they're going to get Bitcoin more and more. They are going to get that wealth handed to them. Gold, as I was saying, like they're, they're so bitter because they had everything right and you know, gold can't really be destroyed. So it's still going to be around. I get it. But if I want to transact to you, like I sent some Satoshis to my editor yesterday on the, uh, in El Salvador, like, you know, he's there for the halving party. I can't do that with gold and fiat. I can't do that with fiat either. It takes an incredibly, a huge amount of time, and it costs probably about 50% of what I paid in fees. So, I don't know. It, I, I'm grateful, but, and wrapping that up, maybe Bitcoin is the miracle that humanity needed, a, a gift from that higher power, whatever that higher power is. Maybe it's just a coincidence, and it's not magical, it's not mystical, it's just based in math, but math being the, the language of the universe, I find it so interesting and energy making up the universe. I don't think that's I don't think that's the truth, but I think that's leading more and more towards the truth of what what Bitcoin is. It's that gly, glowing, shining citadel in the sky. It's anyway, I'm just glad everyone is here for it's like a grand adventure. I don't know. Tell Dorado, it, you just get humbled. And um, I, I'm so grateful anyway to, to be here. And that's why I do this. I just want people to understand that fiat's dying. Like mathematically, certain, like there's a certainty that it's dying. It's already happening. Was it, where where did we bring up yesterday? But Bitcoin's 10x the old all-time highs. Was it Egypt? Maybe I'm getting that that wrong.
but in one country it is and in certain countries it's been at all time highs the whole time because their currency is debasing so fast so we do need to check our financial privilege and i know i'm very blessed make the most of it the people that are holding bitcoin now are going to be the people that can do more and do better in the future that's why i think this is so important to to get this is the largest wealth transfer in human history happening right now maybe we're all wrong but i haven't managed to find a reason why we possibly could be they're trying to force the like algorithm away from the propaganda lowball desperate tactics g'day legends gargoyle in the house green candle g'day green candle it's always good to see you green candle says g'day every day and i appreciate it because every day is a great day I received a Bitcoin ordinal airdrop rock and it sold for 5,300 today. Well done. Good for you. Enjoy. Um, okay. <laughs> Matter hot babe who works for BlackRock, the employees over there at the company are all turned into Bitcoiners now. Banking crisis. What a name and what a comment. Matt, a hot babe who works at BlackRock. They're Bitcoiners. <laughs> They're all turned into Bitcoiners. Too many slaves are waking up. They're uh, getting desperate AF, stack and chill. If she's hodding into Bitcoin, that's probably why. <laughs> she's, uh, she's orange pillin'. Degens. Bitcoin before boobs. I'm just reading the comments. Yo, Sean, you a legend. Brendan, you are the legend. Everyone out there. Like, how does it get any better and what else is possible? This is like to be here as the world's like I, I believe bitcoin will be the world's reserve asset maybe that takes 20 30 50 years i don't know i don't know but to be here at the start when it's only 15 years old what a miracle what a gift do something do anything hit the like button already um brace for blast off now everyone's just getting degen as dracula bitcoin is anything but boring yes like the the price chart and the signal and the noise that happens around bitcoin is incredibly interesting and i find it absolutely fascinating but bitcoin itself your holdings you should approach that very boring you buy your stack you chill and that's it like you just buy it you stack it and then you're relaxed about it and you just keep doing that over and over and over and over and over and over and over you get the point like and over again and then it becomes very boring up down sideways just buy stack and chill that's that should be boring you should just be indifferent to it but then everything else like find your fascination and and that that's at least my my two cents like any do whatever works for you but just get more bitcoin today than you had yesterday if you can and if you can't find another way that you can as quick as you can and get as much as you can oh so boring it's changed my life i'm so bored <laughs> dracula i i understand what you're saying so that's that's where i was coming from u.s market fud day but check bitcoin in the final 15 minutes of market open they won't stop bitcoin at this point it's a force of nature dracula squirt gun time mclovin in the house bitcoin eats bank failures for bracky mclovin g'day sean g'day awesome early bitcoiners Gargoyle, when Bitcoin hits 100k, all that background they say noise will be out stage. Uh, how to scuba dive the GBR without being... I went out for a jet ski, not yesterday, the day before. It was a little bit too murky, so I didn't jump in the water, nor did I take my mask, and it was rough as guts on the way back. My legs are still hurting, but it was incredible regardless, and it's really fat, flat, close to shore. But yeah, there, there, there's sharks out on the reef. And I will jump in by myself, go for a snorkel or a spear when the water's clear. When it's not, I don't. But if you can see them, they're just a big fish. Sometimes they're a really, really big fish, but they're just a fish. Sharks don't want to eat humans. We're not their food. Like shark attacks, they blast all over the news, blah, blah, blah. The chances of that happening, like you're more than likely to die walking down your stairs than get eaten by a shark. Like, I, it's just it's just noise. Bad things in life can happen, but it's not what happens most of the time. It's, 
yeah, I don't know. Shark people, people that go out to the reef and they're so scared of them. They're just a really big, big fish. Like they're just a fish. Um, so just scuba dive, snorkel. Don't worry about sharks. Um, great perspective. The dollar has been in the bear market since we went off the gold standard. Dr. Bro do science of Bitcoin. Good to see you this morning. Uh, Dr. <laughs> Gargoyle, I appreciate that. I stop worrying about price McLovin. I simply buy as much Bitcoin as I can every payday, no matter what. So much less stressful that way. Absolutely gets it. Buy the truth and sell it not. None better. Um, Sean's going to be... I'm not going to be shark food. Like, I'll take the GoPro with me. And if anyone is... I'm not going to say exactly where I live. Um, but just go out to the Great Barrier Reef. I'll get some shark footage. They're just like big fish. And yes, your heart raced a little bit. But like, that means you're alive. Enjoy it. Like, I... It amazes me. It absolutely amazes me. I spent seven years of my life out on the Great Barrier Reef. I look at it every day and like we're going into the best part of the year. Not Bitcoin related, but when you buy Stack and Chill, Bitcoin gives you time and freedom and hope and just a better day. We look at the reef every day, but now with the change of season, like the last three days, the, the actual season has changed. Yes, we're a week and a half into it, but now that that season has changed and like it's cool this morning, jumped in the ice bath last night, it was freezing, coldest water I've been for a long time. So it cooled down, they put the ice blocks in it. But the water gets flat, clear, like pristine. We need the wind to drop down a little bit, the swell to drop down. But when that happens and the ocean turns to jelly, it's like that Disney movie, Finding Nemo, like literally looks like that. It's incredible. Sometimes when you're swimming, especially like at night time and you go like that and you get that bioluminescence and stuff, well worth doing. Whatever it is, wherever you find your happy place, like buy, stack and chill. And the chill is do that. Like truly do that. Sand, sun, steak, sex, chilling out on a ski, whatever it is. You, you find whatever joy it is, Try find that thing and it's do as much as that thing. Bitcoin's going up and to the right forever. And I want these videos just to give you the conviction that just buy, stack and chill as much of it as humanly possible and then hold on to it for dear life and everything's gravy. Baby, go out and do something nice for yourself. That's what I say every day. I truly mean it. Do something nice for somebody else. Be blessed. Peace.